So, I guarantee you've been there. If not, you're probably not human. You're probably some kind of alien. You've sat down at some point and you felt really bored and you've gone, okay, what do I do? What can I do to actually cure my boredom? Well, I've got five solutions for you. Number one, meditate. Now, I advise meditation a ton on this channel because I think it is one of the single most healthy habits that you can have in your life and it's gonna benefit you in pretty much every area of your life. You might not think that, but because of the effect meditation has on your mind, it basically affects everything you do. So meditate and it's gonna improve your life but it's also gonna help when you're bored because you can sit down and you can just focus on one thing and you can go through the process and it's not like meditation is gonna be boring to you because you're already bored and at the same time, it's also gonna improve your boredom and that is because you're gonna get comfortable just sitting there, just watching your breath, essentially doing nothing. If you can be comfortable doing nothing, then how can you be bored in the first place? Number two, take up a creative pursuit. Now, aside from being how I put food on the table, YouTube is something that I do for pleasure as well. It isn't just a business to me. It's something that I do because I find it fun. When I started this channel, I did it because I wanted to make videos and I found the idea of teaching people cool things to be a fun idea. I like creating things. I like writing, I like making videos, I like coming up with video ideas. I've always been someone who enjoyed the creative process. And it doesn't matter what you do. You can draw, you can paint, you can write, you can create music, um, you can mix tracks together on your computer, you can make graphics, you can design levels for your favorite video game or mods or whatever. You can even just build something in Minecraft. Find something creative to do and that is a good time when you're bored because you find that when you're bored your mind is kind of going all over the place. So you might actually find that when you're bored ideas come to you a little bit easier because your mind is just kind of like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this, I want to do that. And so it starts just borrowing ideas from all of these different places. And when you get all of these ideas from different places, you can combine them and make something awesome. Sometimes some of the best ideas will come to you when you're bored. Number three, get some work done. Why would you want to work? Work is boring. Well, you're bored anyway, so why does it really matter if it's boring? If anything, that's the best time to do it because you're already bored, so it's not going to get any worse. May as well get some work done while you're at it while you're being bored. Number four, watch YouTube videos. Maybe I'm a little biased, maybe just a little bit biased, but it's one of the things that I like doing when I'm bored. I would just go on YouTube and I would just binge watch a particular channel. If you're not sure what channels to watch, I can give you some suggestions like maybe Tipro. Number five, start or go to your to-do list. Now you might have kind of expected this video would be all these fun things that you can do when you're bored, but I actually like to use boredom as a time to get me more productive. And one of the ways that I do that is by having a to-do list. I have a to-do list of things I get through every day. And when I'm bored and I don't know what to do, I can just go to the to-do list, see something that I need to get done and get that out of the way while I come up with an idea for what I can do to have some fun or to make the day more interesting. So rather than just wasting my time procrastinating because I'm bored, I actually get to be productive. And if you don't have a to-do list already, then start one. This will be one of the most useful things for when you are bored or when you are procrastinating because it will help keep you on track and get you more done. Speaking of getting more done and working on your goals, you should definitely check out my Hard Is The New Easy self-improvement course. It is about achieving your goals, about doing the things that you want to do and about not fearing the uncomfortable, making the uncomfortable comfortable for you so that you can do all of those things that you fear, that you're scared of, that seem too big and out of reach for you. I want to help you achieve your dreams and I believe that you can do that by following the steps outlined in my course. There are three chapters and the great news is if you're doing the course, you're following along with it and you find, hey, this isn't changing my life whatsoever. Well, if you feel like that, then guess what? You can write to me and as long as it's within a month of purchasing the course, then I'll give you every bit of your money back, 100%, no questions asked. You can just ask for the money back and you'll get it. So definitely check it out in the top right hand corner or down in the description below if you want to learn more. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. If you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon page and if you want to keep watching, pick one of the videos on screen. Go watch that and I'll see you soon. Take care.